Well, summer is coming to an end and the weather is getting cooler, but that doesn't mean playtime needs to end for kids. New Center One's Monica Davis is standing by live at the YMCA this morning to tell us the importance of childhood play. Good morning, Monica. Thank you, Anya. Well, September is a month that brings awareness to a number of different issues, and the YMCA is bringing awareness to childhood obesity and stressing the importance of the little things, like getting outside and playing. I was able to visit the playground at the Y to see some kids in action. Take a look. So the American Council of Exercise and the state of South Dakota are trying to get it out there that, hey, let's get these kids active because childhood obesity is a big problem. Right now, only one in three children are physically active every day nationwide. And that doesn't necessarily mean kids that can get up and walk. That's kids that have active play as part of their day. And active play is what kids do. As adults, we tend to make time for exercise. Well, as kids, they don't have necessarily exercise schedules. So they have active play. Running outside, playing on the playground, and even dancing with scarves are all small examples of active play that pack a big impact. Uh, it improves the development of large and small motor skills. You know, a kid that plays is going to have improved school attendance. They're going to have better grades. They're going to get better sleep. Get out and play. Do something. Move. And even when the weather is nasty, there are still ways to incorporate active play into the schedule. Jumping up and down, not necessarily on a bed or a couch, which would be really fun, but just jumping up and down, jumping jacks, standing, marching in place, listening to music, tapping your feet to the beat of the, the music, those types of things. So, final advice? Get out and play. And coming back, coming up later in the show, I'm speaking with Nicole about what they're doing here at the Y to bring awareness. Keep it right here on News Center One Today. We'll be right back after this break. Welcome back to News Center One Today. I'm live here at the YMCA this morning, and they are bringing awareness to childhood obesity this month for the month of September. Now, we heard earlier that one in three children are unactive during the day. So I'm here with Nicole this morning. And morning. Nicole, tell me the importance of childhood play. Childhood play is extremely important uh, socially mentally it gets the kid going for the day it gets blood flowing it gets their brain moving so then they can concentrate on more things throughout the day you always want to have an active child that's a very good thing absolutely and kids are always wiggling around and being active yes. so if yep. it's we're about to get some colder weather and some snow most likely in the upcoming months so if it's nasty outside what can kids do to remain active just simply getting up and moving around you can stand up and march in place I mean if the family is watching watching TV in the evening, why not stand up and march in place during the commercial break or even a game of hide and seek? Hide and seek is great. Easy way to get moving. So what attributes to childhood obesity exactly? Well, when we were younger, when we were kids, we had we went outside to play if we wanted something to do. Nowadays, kids can, I mean, they've got computer games, they've got their Nintendo handheld devices, they've got smartphones they can sit and do things on. And while, yes, it does keep them occupied, it really makes them very sedentary. And people used to say, oh, don't let your kid watch TV. TV is bad. But they don't realize that screen time is any of those devices. So we want to keep moving and not be very sedentary. Absolutely. So if, say, I have a child who is obese, what steps do you take to help combat that? Um, lead by example. Mm -hmm. You can't sit there and tell your child, oh my gosh, you can't have this or you need to move more if you're not doing it yourself. So make it a family activity. I mean, go for, in, in the evenings, go for walks or may, if you are going to have your kid do marches during the commercial break on TV, then get up and do them too. Always lead by example. They see you doing something, they want to emulate you, they want to be just like you, they'll do it too. So it's just a little teach and learn. Now, they are bringing awareness to childhood obesity for the rest of the month. So I encourage you to get out with your children and play because then it's more active for you and your child. So, Lewis, if a kid wants to get outside and play this afternoon after school, what is our weather looking like? 